all I was doing is I'm just working this back bay and it's not really heavy cover and I'm just throwing these um, sinking uh, stick baits here. I'm stressing on my leg. Sinking stick baits and I'm just dropping in these pockets and I was just moving along and I dropped it in one and as I was looking at it, I, um, I looked down and there was a big bass just looking at the end of it and I actually watched him and I think you can see it on camera. I watched him pick it up two times, missed it on the hook set and the third time I finally got it. So what come to areas like this, this is pretty much sight fishing right here. I got light line, 10 pound test fluorocarbon line so that the fish can't see it, a small four inch bait and you can pick up fish that normally would spook away as soon as you see them. Anytime I come to a, a new lake and I don't know what to expect, I usually have about six or seven rods already rigged up with certain lures ready to go. So I'm just going to show you what, uh, what these rods are that I usually use. First, I always have a good search bait rigged up. This is a spinner bait, it's a Northam spinner bait. It's probably my favorite search bait. You can work it through almost any kind of structure, weeds, rocks, anything, and you'll catch bass. The reason I use this is if you have no idea where you're, where you're fishing, just throw this anywhere and it will catch what's ever around. So when I started this morning, I just kept throwing this around all the points, all the rocks. I caught a few fish. I didn't catch anything big on it, but it just, it kind of started to tell the story of, of what the fish are doing. They were just some dinks that I caught, but it was a good start. So that's one thing I always do. Um, crankbaits like this are also a good thing to use in the morning or, or when you're starting off on a lake you don't know, you can cover a lot of water. And then good old top water is the popper, one of my favorite ways to catch active bass. The other thing I always have rigged up is a good flipping rod. Once you kind of pinpoint where some fish are, on these populated lakes like we're on right now, this lake is really busy, a lot of the fish will tuck, tuck really deep into cover and just sit in there and you can't really get anything at them. So I use uh, these flipping lures. This one's a Texas style rig tube jig. You need a good heavy rod, lots of backbone. I usually have two of these rigged up with two different lures actually. That's one lure I use. The other one I used a lot for smallmouth bass is my tube jig rod. This is a uh, medium heavy action IM8 graphite rod with a tube jig with a 1 8 ounce weight inside it. A good bait if you're looking for smallies in particular, but it'll catch largemouth too. You can use this more around rocky areas. Good way to find fish. And the other uh, rod that I used was the one that actually caught most of the fish today was this smaller, uh, this is a six foot heavy action rod. So it's got a lot of backbone to it, but I put really light lines. So it's an almost ultralight presentation, but still a good backbone to the rod. So that allowed me to get it in these docks, get it around these lily pads and pull bigger fish out. <laughs> Whoa, small E! Nice! That, wow, that's a good fish. This might be bigger than that large one I caught earlier today. I changed colors, but it's still the same basic lure. Wow, he's pulling drag too. Come on, bud. Oh, that's gotta be one of the better fish on this lake. Not ready yet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a net for that. These nets are really handy with smallies. They can jump off real easy. So you got them at head first, and there he goes. Woo! That is a really good way to end the day. A beautiful smallmouth bat. Oh, look, look at this. I am not faking this. There's another hook in the mouth. A little uh, live bait hook, and that's a pretty new hook too. This bass actually broke off someone else maybe even earlier today. That's amazing. Wow. Beautiful fish. Well, that's a solid, that's a pushing three pound smallie. I don't care what lake you're fishing on. Three pound smallie is awesome. Like I said before, they're pound for pound the heaviest, uh, strongest fighting fish. So that guy, he did, uh, he did not let up. He was a good fighter. I'm going to let him go. Beautiful fish. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not really, I don't care what I catch today, but it's large enough for a smallmouth. We've been fishing around rocks and weeds, and we've caught both. We've got one good largemouth, a couple good smallmouth now, so uh, it's definitely what I expected in these kind of areas. When you got a good mixture of everything, you're going to get a mixture of everything. So that's awesome. Let's keep fishing. My two best fish of the day came from two different back bays. Both of these bays had some vegetation and were fed by a small creek. This tells me it was not a fluke that I caught these fish. This is definitely structure that will continue to produce in this lake. The next time I'm on this body of water, I will mostly target bays with similar characteristics and hopefully catch more big bass. The next time you're fishing a new body of water, remember these tips to help make it a successful experience.